Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today let's take a look at the Peterson Clip Strobe Tuner. Let's go! Please see the link below to Sweetwater. If you buy through that link, it'll help my channel out tremendously at no cost to you. I've lived with the Stomp Strobe Tuner for a long time and it's been a permanent fixture in my pedal board. That's the tuner I've been using pretty much on everything on guitar for, on electric guitar anyway, for a long, long time, years in fact. And I love it and there are many, many advantages to that pedal. For one thing, it's visible from across the room 10, 15 feet away, which is great. It's also totally reliable and it has the same basic functions as this guy. So they made this clip strobe tuner. Essentially it works the same way. It's just different form factor for acoustic guitars, for example. So I was psyched about that, but they have two versions of this. They have one with a battery and then they have this one, which is a rechargeable version of the same thing. I think the price difference is about 25 bucks in, in that ballpark. These clip tuners are extremely popular and they're ubiquitous and everywhere. Do I like this one? Yes, I do. And here's why. I've had several. Here's a couple of ones I've had over the years. Uh, this one has been my favorite up until this point. But I do like strobe tuners better. It's because when you see something moving in a circular way, just like a tuning head. So when, when you see visually something turning counterclockwise or clockwise in a circular fashion, the tuners are also kind of the same. So it's super helpful to see visually what you're doing and what you're hearing. So it kind of speaks together and just makes it faster to me anyway. So I've always liked the strobe tuners. Of course, they take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, there's no turning back. Visually, this one is great. It's again, you can see it from a distance, not as far away as a stomp box, of course, but this one is still visible from pretty far away, which is good for poor vision or if you're scanning over on a bandmate or something like that, you can see it from, from a little distance away. And at least the movement, right? There are a couple of other things about this clip tune before I get into to, to the specs on it, but the mechanism of, of this is you can angle it in almost any direction, as you can see. And I love this little form factor with the foam and the, and the hard plastic or whatever it is. It's pretty cool. They claim that it lasts five hours on a charge, which is actually a long, long time because it's not something that's on all the time. It'll turn itself off. But again, there are settings in here and I'm not going to get into the, all the settings because they have a video about that. So you can check that out. The fact that you can change colors, it's super helpful if you have bandmates and everybody has one of these and you can tell them apart if you pick different colors, for example. So let's say I pick the orange and the bass player pick green, you can immediately tell which one is what and you don't have to worry about thinking about, well, which one, how is this one set up in the sweetness section of it, which is also a nice feature that you can kind of just get that half a percent more out of it uh, by selecting your instrument, which is nice because if you're not aware of this, uh, our 12 note tuning standard is not a perfect system. Uh, I used to be told when back in the day when I was in the studio working that you should always use the same tuner to get uniformly across an ensemble or a band, which is not practical if you're in a real rush, especially in an orchestra setting, for example. But imagine if everybody had a strobe tuner that that would be helpful, but that's a, that's an aside. Anyway, here's um, here's the USB-C plug that you plug it into, so it can be used with a regular iPhone charger, or iPad charger, or Android charger, whatever five volt charger you have with a regular USB-C cable. I charged it for like half an hour, forty-five minutes, and it showed me that it was full. 
So that's super helpful too. Now leave a comment below what you think about this if you tried any kind of strobe tuner and if that's a thing for you, if I'm missing something. But to me, I really like them. I remember the days where it was in a rack and it was a huge thing and a lot of producers insisted that you use that tuner even though you had your own tuner, like a boss tuner. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I've used those boss tuners from the 80s, uh, the TU-12. <laughs> this is a complete replacement for all my tuners, these Peterson tuners. Um, they're great. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment below and until next time, take care.